gotta love it. I'm over here in the seed room and the goats are looking at me like, Mama, what are you doing? They're all behind me at the fence. What are you doing, Mama? And then I look out and I see this son of mine. He has gone and got the fence hammer and the stool and he's going around the whole paddock making sure that the fence posts are all the way in. Nobody asked him to do that. This is just him knowing what needs to be done on the farm. Raising them right. Ryan, you look formidable with those tools. I am. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm about to go knock some plants down and get them out of my way. Because I'm building a fence. Yay! Do you have any idea how happy that makes me? I have, I have a, a, a general idea. Yay! I can't wait to see the fence around our garden and protecting it from the beaver and deer and ducks. <laughs> <laughs> so this is an interesting little contraption that Ryan brought home for me from one of his trash finds. It's like it was built for a slope, so it's higher on one end and lower on the other. And it has a plug in it. So part of me says, was somebody ra raising, you know, pond plants or carnivorous plants or something that enjoys living in water? Or was this designed to be a raised bed vegetable garden? Because I can't see growing a garden in metal with only one drain plug. And it looks like the plug was left in most of the time. Hmm. So I'm thinking we might be able to repurpose this in some other way for sure, but not convinced yet. So if you guys have any ideas, let us know in the comments. <laughs> Autumn, are you enjoying being outside? Huh? You like it? She was over there on her little carpet square, but she got riled up and excited and got into the mud and got herself cold. Look at you trying to stand up. You trying to stand up? Maybe You're so big. Trying to sit in under toes. I mean, then she wants to get in my shirt? Yeah. Yeah. She loves her mama. She loves you too. Yeah. She's having fun with you. <laughs> Ryan is getting the fence tightened down and all of the clips clipped in. And we're just trying to figure out how we're going to do this wooden accent fencing against it yeah it's gonna look nice you think so i think so i think it's a good idea yeah. i like it i do too what do you think rowan good. <laughs> don't be too enthusiastic it's starting to get cleaned up giving her brushings? Yeah. Autumn, I believe I left you way over here. How'd you get over there? Were you trying to get to the boys? She was scooting to you. You gonna brush her good? She is shedding. You should definitely brush her all that loose hair. Mama, Do it the opposite direction. You put her there, there you go. That way. That'll, that'll take the hair out. See? See, it's leaving mountains of hair. You're doing a great job. I just gave her a bath yesterday, so it's probably loosened up all the loose hair. Mama, you what? scratch her hair. Scratch her hair? She loves it being scratched, yeah. You want to hit it? You want to flip 
Oh, you want to flip that? <laughs> I thought he was wanting to help you pound in the bamboo. Careful. <laughs> I don't think Liam should flip that because his well, face is too close to it. Hurt, yeah, let's not do that. No, no, no. Too dangerous. I just fold it. I know. Let's not do that anymore. It makes Mama nervous. All right, Daddy, tell us what we're doing now. Now we're going to complete the rest of the fence using this uh, black deer fencing. And we're going to use bamboo stakes to hold it into the ground. Awesome. All right, stop. Hammer time. You helping, Liam? I need a hammer. You need a hammer now? Let me push this one in. Daddy, get it started. And let me hammer it. Let me get it started. Okay, it's got to be shorter first. This one's important because this is the corner post. So this is a good thick, sturdy piece of bamboo. Thanks, Liam. All right, you probably can't see it, which is what I like about this fence, is you really can't see it until you're up close to it. We've got enough fencing to bring us all the way to here. So, from here to the barn is our next section that we'll have to worry about, but I don't think that the deer really come up to the barn to come in. I've never seen any deer tracks in this mud. I think the main assault that we were getting was coming from along the pond and back that way. So I think this is probably good enough to keep the deer out, but we're gonna wanna connect to the barn anyway, or at least close to it so that we can keep the ducks out because they have been a bother. Except they haven't been a bother today, have they, Ryan? Where are my ducks, Ryan? They're exploring. I don't see them or hear them anywhere. You're, I'm getting really nervous. Why? Don't come back. Because they've, they're usually all over the place in the garden. I think in the evening when they know I feed the chickens, they'll come back around. Yeah, but you didn't see them this morning when you fed the goats. I saw them in our front yard this morning. But that was early morning. They're making me nervous. I don't think that they're all in somebody's frying pan somewhere. I hope not. They shouldn't be. I can't see how, even if somebody wanted 11 ducks and tried to catch them all, I don't think they could. No. I don't think so. So now we are putting our cool decorative fence. It reminds me of beach fencing. For any of you that um, grew up in the beach coastal areas, you know what I'm talking about. I really like it. It reminds me of home. Where have you girls been? You had mommy worried sick. What do you think? Nice. It makes me feel like I'm at the beach. How appropriate to have that running along the water's edge, huh? And then this looks invisible. Like you don't even see it. <laughs> Autumn likes it. Autumn's been relaxing, checking things out. We had to put a sweater on her because she was getting a little cold. But she's alright. You, Are you goats enjoying this weather before it gets cold again? It goes hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, huh? Oh, you don't have to all come see me. You're all going to come see me anyway though, aren't you? 
the stampede. Look at them. Do you think they love mama? Or they love food? <laughs> they think I have food. What a beautiful herd. I love my goats. Shy's not walking as fast because we had to trim her hooves pretty severely, leaving some softer padding. She had some overgrown and wrong direction growing, but she's she's she was actually Bye. prancing when I first did it, but Bye. now she's kind of like tenderly walking. So Bye. I am feeling really accomplished right now. How about you? It's like a real garden world down here now. Yes, check it out, y'all. Look at that. Yep. It's getting real, folks. It's getting real. <laughs> Thank you guys for your contributions that made this fencing possible. It's very appreciated. And we really, really appreciate it. <laughs> That's all I can say. I really, really appreciate it. Like, I really, 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 she, really do. <laughs> hey, do you guys know she she appreciates it? I do, though. Like, it's such a gift <laughs> and such we a appreciate wonderful... It. We're very grateful. That's yes. another good word to use. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm wondering, is it safe to take the cover off? Probably um, not till after Tuesday, anyway. Yeah, we're going to have some really low Oops, temperatures. sorry. Did I cut you out? The next couple days, possibly snow. But definitely like go the other way, Rowan. Forecast high teens or early uh, lower twenties. And it's looking like we're gonna yeah, have snow. Possibly so. So yeah, that'll be eh. leave the cover on. But do you think that the deer would try to come up through this small space? That I, I've never seen deer tracks in this mud. I don't know. We won't know until. I'm afraid to take it off. And hopefully, have them come you in. never see any evidence of that. So. But what about the ducks? The ducks, uh, they're going to end they're gonna up come in through. here unless you close off this one part. So, so we need just a little bit more of this deer netting. Do you think that's what you would finish it with? I guess. I mean, it's only not much. We can figure something out, maybe. Do we have any extra rolls of fencing left over from, like, the chicken tractor projects? We've got chicken wire. That would be sufficient. Yeah because we're keeping ducks out basically at this point at this section awesome yeah we'll figure something out like he said but i'm just excited i want to take that off and let those strawberries start surprising us here and there through the winter because in georgia we get warm days like warm enough that they can bloom pollinate and start setting a fruit and you never know we might have strawberries in the middle of the winter never know <laughs> here comes your ducks i hear them <laughs> I hear them coming through the barn. I told her they'd be back at dinner time. I know it. I know those ducks. They they show up every. But they've evening. never been gone like that long. I agree that that was kind of weird that they weren't around while we were out. But I, I I had I had good faith that they would show up at dinner time. They were definitely exploring the pond. We are not done. Yep. We're not done. Okay, are we done yet? Do you want to say something? See you next time on Hoods and Woods. Thanks for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots. Make, make sure you get us 10,000 likes if you are able to. When people help you get subscribed.